The tongue is a muscular organ situated in the floor of the mouth associated with the functions of taste, speech, chewing and deglutition. On observing the surface of the tongue closely, we note that the surface of the tongue is not smooth, rather it has a characteristic roughness. This roughness is because of different types of papillas that are present on the surface of the tongue. The taste buds which are responsible for imparting different types of taste are also present in these papilla. In this video, we will be dealing in detail about the papillas present on the surface of the tongue. Watch the video till the end to understand it well. Hi, we at Tenterize welcome you all to a platform where we help you to conceptualize, visualize and memorize dentistry. The papillas on the surface of the tongue are four in number. These are the circumvalid papilla, the filiform papilla, the fungiform papilla and the foliate papilla. In this video, we will be dealing with these papillas under the following headings. These are the location of the papilla on the surface of the tongue, the shape of the papilla and a brief overview about the histopathology of the papilla. Let's talk about the first and the largest papilla present on the surface of the tongue that is the circumvalid papilla. As the name suggests, circumvalid papilla are somewhat circular in shape. So, if we talk about the location, they are present anterior to the V-shaped groove present on the surface of the tongue which is called as the sulcus terminalis. Please observe the arrows which are pointing towards circular structures. These circular structures are circumvalid papilla. They are approximately 8 to 12 in number and 1 to 2 mm in diameter. If we talk about the shape, we have already discussed that these are circular in shape. These are large structures surrounded by a deep circular groove which opens into the ducts of minor salivary glands, the glands of von Ebner. If we talk about the histopathology, histopathology consists of epithelium and the connective tissue core. The epithelium is keratinized on the superior surface while on the lateral walls the epithelium is non-keratinized and the taste buds of the circumvalid papillae are present on the lateral walls and are characteristically responsible for bitter taste. Coming to the next papilla which are smallest in size but most numerous in number that are the filiform papilla. Filiform papilla as the name implies are hair like structures present on the entire anterior part of the tongue. Because of their hair-like shape or conical shape, they impart a characteristic velvety appearance to the surface of the tongue. If we talk about the histopathology, they contain epithelium and the connective tissue. The epithelium is very thickly keratinized and the epithelium on the superior surface of this papilla contains taste buds. Coming to the next type of papilla which has size intermediate between the circumvalid papilla and the filiform papilla that is the fungiform papilla. Fungiform as the name implies fungus like. So if we talk about the location, first of all they are present on the anterior portion of the tongue but they are present most numerous near the tip and the margins. Some are present on the dorsum of the tongue as well. Single fungiform papillae are scattered between numerous filiform papillae at the tip of the tongue. If we talk about the shape, these are smooth round structures with a narrow pedicle and a large rounded head. Please observe the figure very carefully. If we discuss the histopathology of these papilla, the epithelium is thin and non-keratinized. But the connective tissue is very highly vascular. It contains numerous blood vessels and therefore it gives a red appearance. Coming to the last type of papilla that are the foliate papilla. Foliate as the name implies leaf-like. These papilla are present on the lateral margins of the posterior part of the tongue. Please observe the figure very carefully. They are present on the posterior part of the tongue and not on the posterior third of the tongue. There is a difference between the two. If we talk about the shape and the histopathology of these papilla, these papilla consist of parallel ridges that alternate with the deep grooves. Please observe the figure. There are ridges and deep grooves present. The taste buds in these papilla are present on the lateral walls of the ridges. As we have already discussed, taste buds are present within these papilla and different types of taste buds are responsible for different types of taste in different locations on the tongue. Let's see these in detail. Starting from the tip of the tongue, tip of the tongue contains taste buds which impart sweet taste. 
the lateral border of the tongue on the anterior portion of the tongue imparts salty taste and these taste buds of sweet and salty taste are present in the fungiform papilla if we talk about the lateral border of the tongue in the posterior portion please note in the posterior portion and not on the posterior third of the tongue the taste buds impart sour taste and these taste buds are present in the foliate papilla if we talk about the center of the tongue posteriorly the taste imparted by the taste buds is bitter and these taste buds are present in the circumvallet papilla in this video we dealt with the papillas of the tongue in our next videos we will be dealing with the pathologies associated with the papillas of the tongue thus covering portion of oral pathology on diseases of the tongue it's going to be a very interesting series if you like our content please do like share and subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video stay tuned stay safe thank you for watching